Hello kids, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. So, today we are back with a new thing that is a tactile learning. That is a tactile learning. You all know what? What is a tactile learning? No, don't worry, I'll explain you in brief. So, what is a tactile learning? Tactile learning is basically based on your writing portion. On your writing portion means when a child starts writing so before writing some practices are done to increase the gripping power of these fingers so before writing these are the practices which are to be done by the parents for their kids so that their gripping portion enhances and their writing for the long term will be a good handwriting okay because mostly parents have this problem ki my child doesn't write properly because their gripping power still is not have been built properly that's why if they are not holding the pen pencil or the crayon properly then how will they write so if from the earlier age means when a child is 1.5 you can start these types of practices so that their base can be formed in a best way so for this i have brought some new techniques for you so that you can help your child to learn with the tactile learning as because you don't just give a crayon when the child is 1.5 when the child starts writing parents start giving them the crayon no this is not the procedure of giving the crayon when the child starts for the writing what you have to do you have to do with the tactile learning just focus on the tactile learning after completing these types of activities four to five weeks then give them a thick crayon after thick crayon then a thin crayon this thick crayon thin crayon these i will explain further in my other videos but still we will complete these types of activities so let's start with these types of activities see what do i have on my table you must be thinking what ma'am has taken on the table but no let's start i'll show you something see this is the sand this is a sand it is not a proper powdered form it has these types of things also it is not a proper it has sometimes of little stones also and this one plate for mama and one plate for baby and see what do i have for this also one plate of rice raw rice not cooked one okay these are the rice so what you will do your this is the finger of your child when a child is a small a child just can't open the finger like this so you can hold the hand of a child like this and tell him to just to take out this finger the index finger which finger is this index finger tell the child to take out his index finger and just scribble on it like this standing line standing line mama on one plate like this and a child on one plate like this means both on one one plate you just play with your child ki chalo let's draw standing line <coughs> when a child draws standing line then you can go with the like this standing line chalo let's draw standing line mama is on one plate and the child is on other plate so why we are drawing on these types of sand you know why because this type of sand has little molecules okay this type of little little stones these have this gives a message to my brain that my finger is doing something my finger is just drawing a standing line so it is you also try at home you will get to know why i'm doing these types of activities you if you will draw like this you will get to know acha my mind this nervous system just sends a message to my brain like this oh my finger is doing something because these nerves gets activated these nerves get activated and from here message goes to my mind ki it's doing standing line so i'll do with this finger just tell your child to hold their hand like this like this in this posture position should be like this and just tell them to do it like this one or two time standing line standing line then sleeping line then sleeping line just tell the child to just focus on this thing and the child will do like this he'll make like this circle standing line just tell them to do like this types of things and when the side is, this type of sand is done after 4 to 5 days just take every day 10 to 15 minutes and tell them to do it on the 
sand. When the sand portion is done after five to six days, then let's come to the little bit soft portion that is a rice. Now this is the next level after five to six days. Tell them to draw a standing line on the rice like this. See like this. A child is drawing on the standing line on the rice. Oh, see my finger is getting these nerves activated and this is sending message to my brain that my finger is doing something and this is enhancing the gripping power. This finger, if this finger enhances the gripping power, then for the whole lifetime, you are on the best part. And this is the most important thing. See, like this, the standing line. Okay, so these are the basic activities which you can perform with your child when the child is 1.5 to 2.2 or 2.3 when the child is not able to hold the crayons properly these types of activities you can do at home with your child some more activities i will share with you in my next video and then i'll share with you the writing procedure also which is very further okay till then perform these types of activity with your child and keep learning bye bye